Good morning. What time is it? What time is it? Time for breakfast? Do your trick. Good job. Hello, hello, hello and welcome to Thursday. Hello and welcome to Thursday. I am feeling very uncomfortable in front of the camera. It's been like a whole month since I talked to a camera. I feel like my life is just a little bit disorganized. It's falling apart, just a little bit. So I figured why not do a really, really productive day and vlog it and then kill two birds with one stone. And, um, what is the point? Um, anyway, so let's forget about that. I would consider myself kind of the personification of biting off more than you can chew, but I'm gonna still try and do it. I'm gonna try and do everything on my to-do list today. My to-do list is as follows. Drink eight glasses of water. Do Duolingo. Practice listening both Spanish and French. Read, practice music gather footage for YouTube. Check. Respond to all of the messages I've been avoiding. Make bed. Breakfast, floss, lunch, litter box, tidy room, dishes, yoga, meditation. Cancel Audible subscription. Edit my day four of Vlogmas vlog. Yes, I know it is January 28th, but I'm still gonna post it. Order cat food. Order notebook. Order skincare products. <laughs> order phone case, ask friend about potential jobs, apply to two jobs, clean the whole kitchen, clean the whole bathroom, go to CVS. A lot of those things could take not very long. The biggest pitfall for me to look out for I think would be Duolingo. Sometimes I start Duolingo and I'm like, this is only, I'm only going to do it for like 30 minutes. And then I spend five hours on Duolingo and I'm like, wow, there's no way to apply it because I don't do anything or go anywhere. It's all good. I think I'm gonna start with tidy my room because it's, I don't know how it gets so messy in the course of one day, but like sometimes just be like that. It could be way worse though. Look how beautiful. So I have finished the cleaning process and by no means is it perfect at all. However, oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this off the wall. It is passable and when you have a to-do list that is as long as mine, passable is good enough. My floor even looks alright. It is midday. Here I am. That's so stupid. <laughs> I have finished task number one. Now it is time for a quick refresher with a glass of water. <sighs> I have reached the unfortunate point in the day where I am already losing steam, but all I've done is clean my room. <laughs> Also, I have my heart will go on stuck in my head, so that's not doing me any favors. So I decided I'd film this on the way to the kitchen where I will be preparing lunch. <laughs> See you there. Here we have some delicious spicy black bean soup. Um, so I realize it's kind of weird that eating breakfast and lunch is literally an item on my to-do list. And so I feel like I should probably explain why that is. So basically the medication I take kills my appetite and 
I need some way to incentivize it, so I just put it on my to-do list and I can check it off every time I'm done. I'm like, I never look forward to it, but then I always am in a much better mood. When I don't eat enough, I get headaches and like health problems. Fall of 2019, I started having these really weird health problems. I would just like get really dizzy. Like my face started to get really thin and my hair started to fall out and like my eyebrows were falling out. I was like, what is going on? And it turned out that I was not eating enough. And it took like a really long time to get stuff back in order. Like pretty much for half of last year, I was not feeling myself on account of not having eaten enough and that is not good. So yeah, that is why this is on my to-do list. And I know that I will be much more productive having eaten than if I didn't eat. Bon appetit. It's pretty good, but I accidentally didn't heat it through <laughs> all the way. <laughs> turn off, no, turn off. We meet again. I spent the last 20 minutes taking selfies and I think it might be time to tackle the bathroom. I cleaned the bathroom last week. Even on camera, you can tell that the sink is absolutely covered in hair. It looks even worse than before. How is this even possible? I guess I have to clean it like twice a week, but the amount of work that goes into, ugh, it's just disgusting. The tub is a problem in itself. I'm gonna clean this mirror. I'm going to clean the toilet. I'm gonna clean the tub, I'm gonna clean the floor. I'm gonna take out the trash, and hopefully this time it sticks. Cleaning in the sink, having the time of my life. I just wanted to say really quickly, have you ever cleaned around a toothbrush before? Because it is actually disgusting. It has this like green slime trail. Ha, where does that come from? Does the green slime come from the inside of your mouth or is it like, ugh? I don't know, it's just, I just want to take a second to thank my mother for keeping me so sheltered from the harsh realities of the world. I cleaned a green slime trail just now, but I realized some parts that I may have missed in the past and it's like crusty. I didn't plan to get this into the weeds with like cleaning the bathroom today because I have so many things to do, but I feel like I have to now that I know. Fuck. I just finished cleaning the bathroom. Just wanna say it was fucking horrific. I feel like 30 years older every week. I think that cleaning the bathroom will be slightly better than it was the week before and I'm always wrong. I always find something quietly disgusting that I overlooked the week before and uh, here is the finished product. No green residue, clean sink, clean floors, clean bathtub. The bad news is I am now in a terrible, horrible, very bad mood. I just finished cleaning the bathroom. It was in fact just as bad as I expected it to be. But the worst part about it is that isn't even going to be the worst part of my day. I actually chose it because it was marginally better than other stuff I have to do. For example, apply to two jobs. Every day I have apply to two jobs on my to-do list and sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. No matter whether I do it or not, I never, nothing ever comes of it. No one contacts me for an interview, no matter like how entry level it is. Sometimes I even have relevant experience and nothing. They give you so much conflicting advice about what the best way to go about job searching is. They say you need to keep your expectations low for any given job, but make sure that you're always really confident but like if you go into every job interview fundamentally believing this probably isn't going to work out then you're not going to read as super confident unless of course you're just a really good liar i feel like employers always say that they want people with a lot of integrity of course they would that sounds like a really good quality but they also 
expect job searchers to pretend to be really excited about entry-level positions that no one would really be excited to hold. Oh great, I get to engage in the bureaucratic process of an office. I feel like any entry-level job you do isn't exactly inspiring, and yet when you're interviewing for them, they want you to be like, oh, this is what I've always wanted, I want to stay with your organization forever, blah 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 blah. I feel like all of these conflicting requirements that they have of people are actually just kind of like a way of shifting the goalposts and detracting from the fact that like it's really not about how hard of a worker you are or how talented you are. It's really about like who do you know and are you willing to stroke their ego even if they don't deserve it, <laughs> especially if they don't deserve it. Like are you willing to stroke someone's ego? Ugh. A lot of people in my real life seem to implicitly believe that the fact that I don't have a job means that I'm not trying. Like, they seem to think I have so much fun. Like, I can just spend my entire day doing leisure activities, but really it's extremely stressful and kind of rude for them to just assume this is something I have chosen for myself. <laughs> Sometimes, some days, I'm like, what if I just pack it in and apply to work at Staples and just stay there my whole life? I feel like people would try and discourage me from doing that because they'd say like, oh, you, had, you have so much potential, but like, all of these white collar jobs, you have the social status of having a white collar job, but are you helping anyone? Probably not. You get to sit, which is like marginally more comfortable, but at least when I clean the bathroom, I can see the progress I'm making. Sure, I know that in a week it's going to look like crap again, but at least it's crap that I can clean up. Alright, 